that you buy maize that is inspected for aflatoxin. Girls cannot inherit land. Dinner is ready. The Makutano Junction, we started uh, getting linked with them after we had done a joint program uh, between UN Women, IFAD and FAO in 2014 on Shia Fair on uh, Rural Women Technologies. In 2015, we thought we could also do something together and there was a proposal on, on the best approach and we decided we can highlight some of those projects that are cross-cutting and of interest to the three agencies. We chose the Makutando Junction as a platform to send these gender messages because uh, it's quite an unusual and it's an on a innovative way because people are probably used to gender being discussed in conference rooms, you know. And so we thought Makutando Junction, this is a drama series that discusses people's everyday life. But it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. And who said we want you to be our chief? Yeah. We do try to see where we can work together, and this is just a, a perfect example where uh, IFA and FAO came together on this initiative. Working with the UN uh, over the years has been sometimes difficult, sometimes good, but this time it was really great. Um, they, they got the story, they got the idea, they got Makatana Junction. So it was a really good relationship and most enjoyable. It was a very good partnership because we had the messages that we wanted to send across. For the media, they were the experts on how to package this and really send it out. So it worked perfectly. And there was also a huge agreement between the different agencies in the sense that if we want to get messages across, we can have uh, the possibility to package all these uh, themes that we want to cover in a natural way. When I first saw the storylines that the UN partners had come up with, I was excited. You know, women empowerment has been about women, but this time we were including the men in the storylines. My real name is Naomi Kamau, and I play Mama Mboga in Makutano Junction. The only way she can remain on this land is if she accepts to be inherited by one of us. <laughs> that is tradition. It will never happen. Or oh, playing Mama Mboga storylines, it was more personal in this way. Um, I'm a widow myself, first of all, and I've gone through some, some issues about land with my, you know, my husband's relatives, you know, and it's not been easy. And it is clear as broad daylight that this land belongs to Mama Mboga and her daughter. Mm -hmm. I think it's very important for our viewers, you know, and especially women in this case, when they watch my, my McTurner Junction and these issues are brought forward, yeah? Because it's something, it's like a voice. This is what I can do. I could go to the chief if I have a problem like this. If they, I'm dealing with elders, you know, I could do with this. It's a great forum for them to understand from, from that point of view. Access to land is one of the principal bottlenecks to women's economic empowerment. So I was very happy that we were able to address it in such a robust way. Nancy's blood has a high level of aflatoxin. We chose aflatoxin because it's one of the critical areas of focus for FAO, especially in our crops production. And we realized even though we are working towards increasing food production, but aflatoxin was affecting the productivity and quality of food that is going to the community. And therefore, we realized that we need to focus on it so that we can have more food that is safe. Take the samples and get the lab to do the test. Chop, chop. We've got a baby's life at risk. Well, if she's got aflatoxin poisoning, then why isn't everyone else sick too? Aflatoxin was basically a new word to me. 
I really had to find out how it impacts on our lives and our health. We nearly lost our baby, uh, myself and Nancy, my fiance. And true to the storyline, it's something that is real. Uh, it is something that uh, affects so many people without their knowledge. Are you able to treat her? Should we go elsewhere? On this platform, uh, say Makutano Junction, it, it's actually a very good platform to actually educate. When we talk about aflatoxin and the impact it has on reducing production and the cost of food in the market, and since women are the ones who are most involved in the production side, especially in the rural areas, by getting more information on how to keep their maize and produce free from aflatoxin, that means they'll have access to quality maize and they'll be able to attract better prices at the market. That maize is not spread out well. Should be let out to dry, not piled up like that, and you know it. Okay, fine. As soon as we aired the episodes, a lot of SMSs came in asking, what can I do on a household level to avoid getting contaminated with the aflatoxin? That's the kind of education and stories that people want to see. So I think that will be something we want to continue. For IFAD, we were interested in uh, thematic uh, messages around the household methodology. Dinner is ready. Yay! I like the storyline of uh, the patriarchal figure who over the course of the series subtly transformed. For me, that was a wonderful moment to see that particular transformation. This is nice. Hmm? Thank you, Baba. <laughs> you find that the gender discrimination and gender inequalities is actually a bias or a stereotype that in, is in, ingrained in people's uh, way of life. Now, when you have this kind of uh, social or a uh, drama series that really touches on people's uh, way of interaction, they kind of internalize, you know, slowly and surely. So that's why I think the impact is not just immediate, but it's also long term. <laughs> 